Let us see our next interesting question. The average weight of P, Q and R is given to be 45 kg. If the average weight of P and Q is 40 kg and that of Q and R is 43 kg, then the weight of Q is what you have to find. Our options are given as 17, 20, 26 and 31 kg. These pattern of questions appear in Government Bank and CTS and HCL. Let us see what will be the answer. The logic behind solving this question. We have the weight of P, Q, R represented by P, Q and R and its average is given to be 45. So as per our formula average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. So sum of observations that is sum of the weight of P and Q and R is equal to average into number of observations. So your average is 45 and your number of observation is 1, 2, 3 hence 3 so 45 into 3 will give you the sum of observations that is 135 is the sum of weight of P Q and R similarly for P and Q the average weight is given to be 40 so to find the sum of observations 40 into 2 since we have two people's weight over here hence your sum of observation of P and Q is 80. Similarly, for Q and R, a sum of observations is nothing but 43 into 2. That is, the average into number of observations that is 2. The sum of observations is 86. So, adding 2 and 3 we get the following equation P plus Q plus Q plus R is equal to 80 plus 86 we have 2Q hence we are clubbing them this forms our fourth equation now we are going to substitute our first equation in fourth equation that is P plus Q plus R plus an additional Q is equal to 166. Your P plus Q plus R has a value as 135 plus Q is equal to 166. So the value of Q is obtained by subtracting 135 from 166 that is equivalent to 31. So Q's weight is nothing but 31 kg which is nothing but option D. Hence our answer is option D. Let us move on to our next question. It is given that the average marks of three batches say 55, 60 and 45 students respectively is given to be 50, 55 and 60. Then the average marks of all the students will be how much? Our answers is one of these options. The options are 53.33, 54.68, 58 and 52. So, what will be your answer? Let us see. So, 
it is given that the average marks of three batches of 55 students and 60 students and 45 students is 50 marks 55 and 60 marks respectively so we have the formula for average as sum of observations by number of observations the required average can be obtained by adding the first batch students mark and the number of students that is it is given that these values are your average so the sum of observations can be obtained by average multiplied by number of observations so for 55 students the average is given to be 50 so 50 into 55 will give you the sum of observations so that is over here for 60 students the average is given to be 55 so 60 into the average that is 55 is over here will give you the sum of observations for 60 students 45 into 60 that gives you the sum of observations for 45 students our total number of students can be obtained by 55 plus 60 plus 45 that goes over here so now we have sum of observations of each set of students by the total number of students This on further simplification you get 8750 divided by 160 which is equal to 54.68 that is your option B. Hence option B will be your answer.